The Brazilian president, Jair Bolsonaro, has been criticised for riding a jet ski on a lake as the National Congress announced three days of official mourning for victims of the pandemic. It comes as the death toll in Brazil surpasses 10,000. And the world-famous Maracanã football stadium in Rio de Janeiro uh, has been repurposed as a coronavirus hospital. The health minister has been to visit the new facility, which aims to provide around 400 beds in what is Latin America's worst-hit country. Well, let's get more on the situation in Brazil with journalist Gustavo Ribeiro. Uh, he's the co-founder of the English-language news site The Brazilian Report. Thanks very much for being with us. So let's start with the uh, president, Jair Bolsonaro. Uh, images on social media circulating of him on a jet ski in the middle of this crisis. Uh, what's the reaction to that been? Well, the reaction has overwhelmingly been negative towards Jair Bolsonaro. He has been facing criticism for a few days. Uh, on April 28, when asked about the rising death toll of COVID-19, he said, so what? What do you want me to do? Then uh, yesterday, he said that he was planning on doing a barbecue today in the presidential residence. He ended up uh, backpedaling and not hosting the barbecue, but then like you informed uh, a little while ago, he rode on a jet ski. He met with uh, a few people that were on a boat doing themselves a barbecue. He uh, disrespected social distancing recommendations by his own health ministry and just talked to them uh, very close to these people. And uh, once again, said that Brazil should be more worried about uh, reigniting the economy again and protecting jobs because uh, if the economy tanks, mortality rates in Brazil will rise. And to his point, uh, many research do say that uh, when uh, we have a big drop in GDP in Brazil, uh, we have uh, people having less access to healthcare and less access to uh, healthy uh, habits and uh, more precarious job conditions that will indeed uh, lead the mortality rates up. Uh, Gustavo, um, Brazil is you know, one of the hardest hit Latin American countries. Uh, talk me through the figures and what you make of them. Well, the figures are massively understated. Uh, like you said, we have reached the 10,000 death mark, but that's only the official numbers because the truth is we have not been testing enough. We have been testing 1,600 people per 1 million inhabitants, that is. 33 times less than Spain has tested. And in some states, the backlog of tests of untested patients reach almost 100,000 people. So uh, a lot of studies have estimated between two and 4.2 million people that might have already been uh, infected. Of course, those are estimates. But the truth is uh, there are signs everywhere to be found that the figures are understated. And the health minister himself said uh, a week and a half ago that Brazil is, uh, quote, flying blind through this crisis. OK, Gustavo, thanks very much for talking to us. Uh, Gustavo Ribeiro there. Thank you.